In John chapter 13, there's this remarkable story about the servanthood of Jesus. The disciples come together with him and he gets down and washes their feet. Now, in our culture today, we don't really do this anymore. But uh, back in those days, this was done. You know, with all that dust and dirt out on the streets of Jerusalem and Galilee and elsewhere, they, their feet would be dirty. So the role of a servant was to wash the feet of people when they came in. Again, the role of a servant, not the role of the host. They hired the servant to do that. But the disciples walk in and Jesus gets down on his hands and his knees and he washes their feet. By the way, this included Judas Iscariot. And Jesus knew Judas would betray him. If I knew Judas was gonna betray me, I would not wash his feet, I would break his feet. But Jesus washed them, showing us what a servant looks like. Let this mind be in you, which was also in Christ Jesus. Look. As I said earlier, this is a tall order. We can't do this on our own. We need God's help. We don't need imitation. We need impartation. And by that I mean we don't need to just say, well, I'll try to do it like Jesus did it and I just hope I can do it. No, no. Lord, you need to impart to me the power to love unlovable people. You need to help me to put the needs of others above myself. I need your help. So you could pray a prayer along the lines of, Lord, I'm not happy with my selfish me first attitude. I want to live your way, not the world's way. I want to esteem others better than myself. I want this mind to be in me, which was also in you. Impart to me your power that I might live the way that you want me to live.